Did you notice that flamenco singers uh, repeat lines, part of lines or words all the time while singing? But can they repeat what they want, when they want, as they want, or are there some rules, instructions? How does it work? Hi, this is Guillermo Guillem for Flamenco Maps. Welcome to my channel. Whether you dance flamenco, you sing flamenco, you play flamenco guitar, you play palmas, you play percussion, or you just want to know how it works, today I want to explain to you one very important thing about the cante, the repetitions. One thing that needs to be very clear before we start is that a cante flamenco is not a song, okay? The cantes don't work like songs with a beginning and end and a pre-established structure with verses and chorus. It's not like this, okay? And the main uh, element of the cante are the letras. And we can apply so many transformation, modification, variations to the letras. The way of transforming a poem, uh, what I call a written letter, into a cante, into a sung letter, is what I call the processing of the letter. And repetitions are a big uh, part of this processing. And there is another video talking about this concept of processing, which is the basis of the creativity and freedom in flamenco cante, in my opinion. So when we dance, when we play guitar or percussions or palmas, we need to understand what the singer is doing, right? Because we need to adapt and react to the cante. And if I'm a singer, obviously I want to know what I'm doing and I want to know what others are expecting from me. In many cases, we'll find a letra like straight, like a three lines letra, three melodic lines. For example, this Bulería del Borrico de Jerez. But sometimes we have repetitions of one part of the letra or more. Let's hear this same letra por Bulería by the same singer, El Borrico de Jerez, with one repetition. I differentiate three types of repetitions. Stylistic repetitions, structural repetitions, and interpretive repetitions. I call stylistic repetitions the repetitions that are imposed by a style or a palo. If we don't respect these repetitions, we are out of the style. For example, a letra de Alegría de Cádiz, a written letra, is four octosyllabic lines, four lines of eight syllables. Like this very uh, common, famous one. A Cai, no le llaman Cai, que le llaman Relicario, porque tenemos por patrona a la Virgen de Rosario. To be sung, to become a traditional standard letra de alegría, we need to repeat the second line and put it in first position. Repeat before. I call this ante-repeating. <laughs> Inventing words. Why do we do that? Because this is the model of uh, a Letra de Alegría de Cádiz. We have five melodic lines and only four lyrics lines, so we just repeat one and put it in first position. Porque 
if we want to stay within the traditional flamenco framework, we need to respect this. If we are in a tablao, for example, if you are the singer, you are expected to sing this structure. If you are a dancer, you will expect this structure from the singer. It doesn't mean that you can't break the rule. It is art, okay? We can do whatever we want, but just to know how it works. The structural repetitions. These kind of repetitions are not obligatory, but they are permitted and sometimes expected. These are options we have to make a letra longer. It's kind of an extension of the letra. So let's take our letra de alegría again and let's see the lines three and four can be repeated. It's not an obligation. Some singers will repeat them, others won't. It will depend also on the context. If you are singing cante palante alone without baile, it's not really a problem. Maybe with baile, the repetition is expected. So let's listen to Aurelio Seyes, Aurelio de Cadiz, singing the same letra. He chooses to repeat. And finally, the third kind of repetition, what I call the interpretive repetitions. These are the freest because uh, they are not dictated by any structure, by any style, only by interpretation. The singer chooses at that moment to repeat uh, a word, a line, part of a line, but it's not subject to any rule. The difficulty here is not to distort the structure too much uh, so that the other can understand what's going on. And a good way is to pay attention to the lyrics because we are still at the same point of the letra because it is still the same meaning that is developing. That's why it's good to understand Spanish at least a little bit. So now let's see an example of these interpretive repetitions with La Niña de los Peines singing a very famous Estribillo por Burería de Cádiz. And here we have the same estribillo sung by Mariana Cornejo or Mariana de Cádiz. Here we can clearly see the difference with La Niña de Peines, right? Because Mariana is interpreting in a different way. She's repeating words, she's repeating lines, she's changing things, she's adding el que, this small word in Spanish. Just, it doesn't mean anything there, but it just, it gives more rhythm. And she's also cutting the end of the last line because she starts dancing at that moment. And that's the thing, the last thing I want to tell you. When we have repetitions, many, many times we also have modifications, variations. We repeat, yes, but we also change a bit. We change the word, we change the order of the word, we add a diminutive or we add more words, we recreate a sentence with the same meaning. And sometimes it can be confusing because we can think that we switch to another line or another part of the letter. But no, actually, it's just a, a varied uh, repetition possibilities here are endless. The limits are just our creativity. That's it for today. I hope it could help to clarify a bit the Cante Flamenco. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 
leave me a comment and ask me whatever you want about flamenco we can discuss here and i can make videos on uh, any topic you want and also go and visit flamencomaps.com and there i'll explain all my classes my courses and new things are coming up soon there so i see you there till then don't forget learn flamenco make it fun make it different make it yours bueno vámonos no <laughs> <laughs>